Breaking news, that SWAT situation in Lachlan is over at this noon hour. A strange set of circumstances led to this lockdown, though. Nine on your side, Zach Fitz, has been following the story throughout the day. And Zach, what's going on now? Well, good afternoon to you. The situation, it's all over. The suspect is now in custody. And if you've been following this story since the top of the newscast, you saw that earlier officials had us back quite a bit because obviously it was a very fluid situation. They didn't want to give away the position. They were obviously worried about our safety as well. But now that the situation is over, you can see behind me that we've moved closer. This right here, the 600 block of Maple Street. The focus is that White House that you see right there, the one with the arches. Police obviously finishing their investigation up right now. And it all soon came to end. To an end shortly after they used a flashbang. Now, this all started in a very interesting way. Basically, what happened, according to officials, earlier this morning, two teenagers, they were walking down the street here on the 600 block of Maple Street when a pit bull, a dog, started chasing them. So those two kids, they took off running, trying to get away from that dog. One of them ran down the street. The other one jumped in the back of a pickup truck, trying to get away from that dog. And it just so happened the owner of that pickup truck saw that teenager jump in the back of his truck. He didn't know what was going on. He thought that that teenager was just up to no good. He was out causing trouble. So he grabbed his gun and started firing at that teenager. That teenager, he was not hit. Both teenagers ended up taking off, running away. They were later picked up by police. And that is when that man barricaded himself in that house. Police believe that he was armed. And as I said, this all came to an end within the last half hour when police used that flashbang. They were able to go inside. They were able to get that suspect. Now he's been taken into custody. This is a situation that could have end, uh, ended a, a lot worse. But once again, um, those two teenagers, they were not hurt. And that suspect has been taken into custody. Reporting live, Zach Fitz, 9 on your side.